Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here, and I'm coming to you a different time, I realize, but this would not let me go. I feel like I have a word from the Lord, it was for me, and very possibly it's for you. And that's stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. The enemy has played us. The enemy, the small GOD of this world, has played us into getting into a frenzy, an overwhelming, compounding uh, information uh, overload that is causing the body of Christ to, to, to be concerned and worried and fret and to stop trusting God. We've got to go back to trusting the Lord. We've got to get back on your screen, Isaiah 55 and 8. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He does things different than we do. So do you trust him? Are you trusting him? Stop trying to figure out what's going on. Stop trying to figure out what might happen, what could happen, what possibilities are out there. Just stop. Take a pause, take a moment, and just get with God today. Today, His mercies were brand new this morning. His comfort is still from the Father of mercies, the God of all comfort, according to 2 Corinthians 1. The scripture, lean not unto your own understanding, starts out with trust the Lord, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Get your mind focused back on him and say, Lord, quit praying my will be done. I'm not praying my will be done anymore. I'm praying, God, your will be done. No matter what that looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter how many questions I have and maybe even despair that tries to rise up in me, I will not allow it. I will say, I will trust in God who made all of this universe, he spoke into existence, and he can and will speak into that which is not as though it is. First Corinthians, read you this scripture, and then I'll let you go and pray a blessing over your day. First Corinthians 1, verse 27 says, But God hath chosen, he selected, he chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise to put to shame the wise and God hath chosen the weak things of the world and if you're feeling weak right now take heart take heart in my weakness am I made strong when we stop trying to figure all this out and really put it in the hands of God every part of our life comes into alignment with him he's wanting us to understand he hasn't fallen off the throne. All is well. He says, He's chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty, and the base things of the world, the insignificant things, and the things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, the things which are not, the things that don't even exist, to bring to naught, to nothing, the things that are. And he goes on, verse 29, it's a good verse, he says, that no flesh should glory in his presence so i urge you i implore you this i felt this word from the lord this morning would not let me go and i had to just come on and share it with you look throughout the day bring your mind back into alignment with god's word bring your thoughts back into in captivity bring it all into alignment with god's word and say lord whatever's happening i'm not going to try to figure it out no more i'm not going to try to pass on this information and and get into this deluge of information data i'm not going to i'm not going to worry i'm not going to fret i'm going to cast i'm going to cast i'm going to cast all my cares upon you for you careth for me and god does care for you so stop what you're doing and let god do what he does best and in the midst of it all don't stop praying don't stop praying. Pray God's will, not yours. God, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.